Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life. Happy February. I'm here today with the February block of the month pattern. And I have just a couple of things I wanna go over before we get started. Uh, the first one is that I just last week wrote a block of the month frequently asked questions blog post. Uh, I get probably the majority of the questions in my emails are about the current block of the month or previous block of the month. And so I have all of that information in a blog post for you. And we will put that in the description of every video going forward from now on. And hopefully that'll just make it easy whenever you have a question or you want a place to go to for all those links, you can just go to that one page and it will uh, link you to all of the information that you need. Uh, that being said, I also want to just take a second and let you know that I just started up a Patreon community for A Quilting Life. You might have seen it on the blog or heard about it on the podcast already. But what I'm looking to do in that community is to really focus on more organization of your quilting fabrics, your, your quilting space, uh, time management, things for quilters. But I also felt like I wanted to also make available to the members of that community the new small patterns that I'm releasing every month. So you will get, if when you join the Patreon community, you will get one to two small patterns uh, for free every month that you can just download directly from that Patreon site. That They will be patterns that will be available for other people to purchase in my shop, but you will get them for free as part of your membership. And then also what I'm going to do is a monthly one hour Zoom for the members of that group. Also, one more benefit for the members of the Patreon community is that I will be giving them the block of the month patterns just a little bit early. Uh, the videos are still going to come out on the first Thursday of the month, but the members of the Patreon community will have access to the pattern on the first day of the month, whether it's a you know six days before the video or two days before the video. Just Just one other thing, I'm trying to add a lot of extra little perks over there. Okay, so let's get started with all of the information that you need for today's blocks. Okay, so first of all, this was last month's block. I really enjoyed seeing all of the different versions out there. It's it's really been a lot of fun. Uh, and also hearing some of you are just doing different fabrics for your churn dashes every month. Some of you are using just one fabric. It's just, it's really gonna be a lot of fun to see all of these quilts. So this is the February block and it is a, you know, a little pinwheel in the middle and it's actually made with four quarter square triangles so i want to let you know that i have a video with exact directions on how to make the quarter square triangle unit so we're going to pop up a link to that video if you've never made a quarter square triangle before and i also want to point some uh, something out so the pattern has you cutting background squares and then, you know, what I've used here with the coral and then also the aqua. So you're cutting two background squares, one coral square and one aqua square. And the pattern has you cutting those in diagonal into fourths into triangles and then assembling that way. The pieces are upsized. So then you trim it down to the exact size on the pattern, which is four and a half inches by four and a half inches for the 12 inch block and two and a half inches by two and a half inches for the six inch block. But don't trim these if you want a little bit more simple way to make it. And that's the way I show you on the video. And so basically I just wanted to show you. So you're going to put your one of your print squares together with a background square and your other print square together with a background square. And you're going to, uh, you'll see this in the other video, but you're going to 
either draw a diagonal line or use a half inch ruler and sew, sew a quarter of an inch away either side of that diagonal line or just when you draw those lines with that other ruler. And so what you're gonna be doing is making half square triangles. You'll end up with two, you'll cut this after it's sewn. You'll have two half square triangles with this combination and two with this. And you will use these units as I show you in the other video to make these quarter square triangles. And it really is a little bit more simple. As you will see, there's just less pulling on those bias edges. So if you haven't, you know, cut your pieces into fourths, go over and watch that other video and make them that way. The sizes are actually the same. So nothing needs to change in the cutting instructions. So these are these were already sized up as well for trimming. So they are the exact size that you need to use this other method in that video. Let me go ahead and show you my, I, I remember when I filmed last time, I didn't have the six inch block. I think we popped, we might've popped a picture up of it. I can't remember, but this time I have it, mine done already. So just really cute. And with this one, what I, what I wanted to point out is I'm going to alternate my churn dash borders for this, for my small version. I'm going to do half of them in blue and half of them in red. And I haven't decided yet because I'm kind of using dark blues and medium blues and even some lighter blues. If I'm, I might alternate some of the shades of blue in those churn dash borders for these. Uh, that's still, I guess I'll decide because next month I'll be making another blue one. And so I'll kind of make that decision by then. But I'm just really, really excited about this version as well and being able to alternate those borders. And then once again, if you need more instructions on the tips that I shared for making these churn dash outer sections, be sure and go back and watch the January video for that. So we've got the pattern available. Head over to my blog to download it for free. Okay, that's it for the February block of the month. I really hope you enjoy making this block this month. They're, they're fun in the larger size and the smaller size. And uh, just hope that if you haven't made quarter square triangle units before, either you'll enjoy the method in my video that kind of makes it a lot more simple and gives you a much more accurate outcome. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you'll share it with a friend hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.